All right, so this my two cents. Um, a really neat house. It's awesome house, brand new. Uh, this builder, and I don't say this a lot, I honestly don't, took a lot of pride and did a lot of things right. I really don't, I haven't seen anything that stood out to me that could be wrong. This kitchen is massive. It's hard to tell, but there's a lot of room here. You can easily fit like four people alone around that island, and then you would have another table in this area too, next to that light. This living room isn't like big, 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 but I mean, to have a big sectional would definitely work. Um, I love all the lighting. I don't think you would ever have to turn on a light in here until it gets, until the sun goes down. It's nice, it's a resale value, having master on the main floor. The big room, the only thing I would redo, if I could, is those windows, because you lose linear feet of closet space. And again, I put like a little one foot by four foot window at the top for natural lighting and added about, about 11 feet more of linear uh, closet space. Anyways, um, Tons of cabinets in the kitchen. The three bedrooms that are upstairs. It was cool that that one bedroom had its own bathroom. It was cool that the two bedrooms upstairs had a shared bathroom together. They had a loft upstairs. Every bedroom upstairs, every bedroom in the house is big compared to other ones. And then it's neat that you had that three car garage with the eight foot door. Again, when we had trucks, we have big vehicles, so something we notice a lot. Um, having that mud room, that's the first thing Allie picked up on too, and having that half bath right off the kitchen is pretty cool. I think the only downfall is this backyard, and that's just up to you guys on what your preference is. You have enough room to play catch, kick a ball around, play some baseball. There's probably, from the house, to, to where the hill starts is probably about 25, 30 feet. So you have room for a swing set, trampoline. I don't really know why you would have a swing set when all when the houses are built four houses down as a playground. So I don't know why you would have one. Maybe if you had a trampoline. Again, I don't know what you guys are into. But, you know, it, it is a kicker, this slope of the backyard. For resale purposes, people, I don't know if would like that. But like I said, um, spent a, a decent amount of money. We've had clients build those areas up and bring in dirt and make that all usable because you rebuild that up and you make that somewhat flat, but not completely flat, but somewhat more usable. That's a massive yard then, massive yard. So cool area. The only thing I want to give you a note on and I think since it's new construction, when it's done, there will probably be another entrance, but there's only one entrance right now, and it's on the side of the highway. This house is on the way back of the subdivision, so you don't hear the highway or anything. But so if you're coming north onto uh, 61, you have to go past the subdivision, go around two roundabouts, and come back the other direction. But again, it's next to another major road, and I bet they'll open that up when this is all completed. So I just want that to be a note for you guys right now. Overall, this is a really nice home. This is a type of home where I always think about this too. This is a type of home where people come to you for uh, Thanksgiving dinners. So something to keep in mind. Hope you guys like.